G'day guys, how's it going? All right, in this video, all I'm doing is replacing the stock guard, the oil cooler guard on the DR650 with a B&B off-road, fancy, smancy looking one. All right, come over here and I'll show you the tools that we're gonna need to do it. It's pretty bloody simple. guys so the tool the tools that you need is basically this so an 8 mil socket or uh, spanner to remove the stock guard a 4 mil um, allen key for the new bolts that are supplied with this new guard a knife of some description to cut open the new package cool rightio so here's the guard these are the bolts and washers that are supplied on the inside here, same as the stock one, there is, um, well, I don't know what you call it, but it's got a thread in it, so there's no nuts required. Now, speaking of bolts and nuts and stuff, you can use uh, Loctite if you want to put that on and make sure it's not going to wind off. I'm not going to worry about it. I don't believe I'm going to have an issue of these ones backing out on that particular thing. Some people may think it is, so put that on if you want to. I'm just not going to worry about it. All right, so now before I uh, get to installing uh, this, I suppose I should tell you, so I got it from B&B Off-Road. I'll put down their link to their website. I bought this online. It's not a, this isn't a sponsored video. Um, do I think I need this? Not really. Um, that stock guard has worked brilliantly for years. Um, never had an issue with rocks. It's quite a, it's a, quite a solid piece of, uh, piece of kit. The only thing that would um, most probably penetrate through that is if you were, if, if a stick, some type of stick would gouge and go through that. That would be the biggest reason why you would move to uh, something like that. Another reason, and this is part of the reason for me, is I'm thinking that that might just jazz it up a little bit. It's something for me to muck around with, do a video, um, but if, if you've started out with your DR650, this is most probably one of the, the later later additions, if you like mucking around and doing stuff like that, to whack on. With the exception, if you're going to be going into forested areas and going on single tracks, this would be pretty much a, a, a must do because branches coming out and gouging, that would be um, you know, a game killer. All right, let's get into the in installation. Right, yeah, guys, let's see how, oh yeah, they're not very, they're not very tight at all. That's one out. All right, so the second one on the outside up the top. Yeah, that was fairly loose too. Love it when it's easy. Rightio guys, so we've got the uh, inside bottom one somewhere. There it is. Oh. Hang on, which way am I going? Might help. Might help if I go the right way. All right, there we go. That one was a little bit tighter. There we go, three down, one to go. Right, so for this last one, oh, there's no way I can get that camera to see me doing it. So I'll just let you sit there, and if I struggle with it, you can see me struggling with it. It's funny, isn't it? There's always one thing when you're doing a job, there's always one thing that's always a bit of a bugger. So this is the spot where it's just you got to do little bits and little bits, so I'll come back to you. Rightio, just about got it. Using two fingers either side, just screwing it around. And it should pop. There it goes. There's a little bugger. So now this, I'll bring it over here closer. All right, so this should just pull out like that. Beautiful. Rightio, so stock one, new one. So just as a size comparison, if I try and line these up, so width-wise, it's the same. 
lengthwise, hang on if we get that there, as you can see on both ends, it's a little bit longer. Now this dock one covered that whole radiator, no problems whatsoever, um, as in the fin parts, which is the acceptable part. Actually, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's a dent right there. So there you go, this guard saved me from a rock at some stage. Now, so yeah, so now this is giving a little bit extra coverage as well, but like we were talking about, a stick or something like that ain't, ain't gonna go through that at all. Cool. All right, we'll just give that a bit of a, bit of a dust up. I'm pretty sure, oh. Yeah, all those fins are, are, are clear. So if they weren't, this would be the time for me to uh, see if I can get some water. You've got to be very careful not to high pressure, maybe use some air. Same thing. Sometimes air or even water can uh, affect these little um, these fins. So you've got to be, be careful. But yeah, I would have given that a clean out, but it doesn't need it. So we're just going to get straight into whacking that new one on. Rightio guys, so this goes on, it doesn't matter, you can do it that way, that way, just don't do it that way. <laughs> Alright, so this should hopefully just slot in. So basically, uh, this goes in between those, those mounting pieces there. Not to the outside, not that you could do that anyway. Ah, oh, my glove's stuck. Beautiful. All right, I better get some uh, bolts in it. Right here, yeah, so we've got our little bolt. We'll whack one of those washers on. Bloody hell. I tell you what, I'm wearing these gloves because it stops that camera from um, flaring up. But I tell you what, sometimes you just can't do it. Real fiddly, but that's all right, we're in. One of those is in. Bring you guys around so you can have a close up of that. All right, let's see if we can get this one in. Oh, too easy. That means this top inside one's gonna be really hard for me, I'm sure. Excellent, we might even tighten that one up. Oh, I'm gonna have to get me other ones, I think. These are, these are too big. Well guys, actually they went in pretty pretty damn easy. I'll just quickly do this one up. Done, all I've got to do is uh, tighten them up, but I've got to get a smaller Allen key. Right, yeah, resort to me little bag of Allen keys. <laughs> For this very reason. I reckon that might be... Oh, even that's a tight... Oh, really? Cool. Oh, well there you go. So what I was doing is, I'll show you. All right guys, hopefully you can see that. So what I've done is I've just pushed, pushing this, so I can now get that Allen key onto there. Cool. So that's a good little trick. All right, that one's done. The other side. Two bottom ones are done. Oh. Top one's done. Hopefully this last one here. Oh, look out, I'm gonna get onto it. But, it's the same deal, it's bit by bit. Well, there you go, guys, that's done. That's all uh, fully installed, so, You'll want one of these little Allen keys just to make it easier. I couldn't get in with one of those, so just uh, keep that in mind. The other thing about just being able to move this um, radiator around while you're doing that, and uh, you're all good. So yeah, looking at that, it's got it'll have good airflow. I don't think it's going to retard the air too much, um, if at all. And uh, it's now got a full coverage. I just did a quick check of you know making sure. 
everything's uh, nothing, you know, the guard's not going to knock on it. Down here I've got all nice clearance. I reckon it's a bloody job done. Alright guys, um, I think that's it. So remember guys, keep on riding, and if you ain't riding, keep on keeping on.